بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة وفيديو جديد لقناتنا انجليش فور ارابس النهاردة ان شاء الله الفيديو هتتضمن اول حاجة معاني الكلمات اليونت 10 بارت بي الجزء الثاني اثنين شرح معاني شرح يونت 10 وتكملة قواعد سينس وفور قواعد البريزنت بيرفكت هناخد النهاردة القاعدة بتاعت سينس وفور وآخر جزء هيكون عبارة عن كلمات الورك بوك 7 impressed to cause someone to admire or respect 8 8 exercise 8 unit 10 interchange 1 exercise 8 climb a hill climb a mountain climb the stairs be silent drink drink herbal tea drink iced coffee Drink soda. Drive. Drive a sports car. Drive a truck. Drive a car. Lose. Lose your cell phone. Lose your keys. Lose your glasses. Miss. Miss an appointment. Miss a class. Miss the bus. Ride. Ride a bicycle, ride a camel, ride a horse. Really? Wow, you're kidding. I'm impressed. 12, exercise number 12, unit 10, interchange 1. Take the risk to do something dangerous. Hang glider, a very small aircraft without an engine. Scuba diving, swimming underwater with special breathing equipment. Scuba diving, swimming underwater with special breathing equipment. Accident, something bad that happens unexpectedly. Upside, with the top at the bottom down. Challenge, something that needs much mental or physical work. Challenge, something that needs much mental or physical work. Lived through, GH silent, lived through. Overcoming, fighting successfully against, fighting, T soft D. British, fighting, American, fighting, fighting successfully against. Bubbles, bubbles, pockets of air. Pockets to wear in liquid. British pockets. American pockets to wear in liquid. Rare. Unusual. Rare. Unusual. Rare. Unusual. Explore. Look around. Discover. Page 67. Exercise 5. Grammar focus. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. For since. For since. Key words of the present perfect. For and since time expressions for the present perfect. Here, how long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. For two years. I lived, so I can use for in the simple past. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. For? Have lived. Have lived for? I can use for for the present perfect. I've lived here since last year. Have lived present perfect. Since last year. I'm really happy here. 
So after four, we have the amount of time, two years, six months. Example, two weeks, a few months, several years, several different, several years, different years, a long time, a short time. In four, I didn't know the beginning of time, but I know the amount of time. Okay. Since. Since I've lived here since last year. So since I used in the present perfect, I have left. He has left. Has have plus PP. Since. Since. 6.45 Since last weekend Since 1997 Since elementary school <coughs> Elementary school Primary school Primary school Elementary school Primary school So after since I know the beginning of time Since plus the beginning of time I have worked here since 6.45 That means I know this is the beginning of time I haven't seen you since last weekend So last weekend Today is 28 So last weekend, last Friday So last Friday The 24th, 24th of September 2016 Since 1997 Since elementary school Elementary school So here I haven't seen you since elementary school It means uh, Maybe since 1993 So after since we have The beginning of time Or a number Or the meaning of the beginning of time For The present perfect has have plus pp the key words for since already yet recently just for i have lived in cairo for 10 years i haven't gone a party for a long time she hasn't met her brother for six months month ths Sound month. Shares my months is no six months for ten years for a long time for six months four plus the amount of time. So after four, the amount of time like two weeks, a few months, three months, two months, five months, several years different years, four years, a long time, a short time, a long time, a short time. This is four. With, with four, you know the amount of time. You don't know the beginning of time when this happened. You don't know the beginning. Since. I've lived here since last so this is a year ago we are now in 2016 so i've lived here since 2015 he has been he has been at work since nine o'clock since nine o'clock in the morning they have been on vacation they've been on vacation since friday today 26 so last Friday is 23. So they've been on vacation since Friday, since the 23rd of September 2016. Since plus the beginning of time. So after since, you have the beginning of time, like 6.45. Since last weekend, since 1997, 
since high school, since junior high school, since elementary, elementary school, high school, secondary school, or secondary school, junior high school, prep school, elementary school, primary school, primary school, American British primary school. So after since we have the beginning of time. This is why after since we have numbers like last weekend means the twenty third of of September. Junior high school. I haven't met you since junior high school. 1996 Elementary school That means 1993 Easy? Yes Let's answer the questions Of page 67 4 and sense C. Complete the sentences with for or sense. Let's answer the question. Pam was in Central America. A month last year. Here we have the amount of time. For a month. I've been. Number two. I've been. Been. British. American. Been. I've been a college student almost four years four years the amount of time oh I have been a college student for almost four years L silent almost four American four years British four four years three Hiroshi has been at work 6 a.m. this is the beginning of time so Hiroshi has been at work since 6 a.m. Since 6 o'clock in the morning. 4. I haven't gone to a party a long time. Long time amount of time. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. 5. Josh lived in Venezuela two years as a kid. Josh lived, Josh lived in Venezuela for two years as a kid. A kid, a child, for two years. 6. My parents have been on vacation. Monday. So, Monday, this is date. This is, I know now the beginning of time. My parents have been on vacation since, since Monday. Natalie. Natalie was engaged to Danny. Natalie was engaged to Danny for six months. Four. Seven. Four. Eight. Have been best friends? High school. Since the beginning of time. The beginning of time. Since high school. Again the answers. Number one, four, two, four, three, since, four, four, five, four, six, since, seven, four, eight, since. Exercise number D. Per work. Per work. Ask and answer these questions. How long have you had your current hairstyle? Your hairstyle. Current, it means now. 
I've had my hair, my current hairstyle, I've had my hairstyle for five years. How long have you studied at this school? I've studied at this school since 2016. How long have you known your best friend? I've known my best friend since since high school. How long have you been awake today? Awake, not asleep. I have been awake today for nine hours. Exercise number, exercise number six. Pronunciation, link sound. This is pronunciation, link sound. Let's start to listen. Page 67. Exercise 6. Pronunciation. Linked sounds. Part A. Listen and practice. Final T and D sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Listen again. Page 67. Exercise 6 in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. In this exercise, linked sounds. Final ta and da sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. What does it mean? Final ta and da, it means the letter T and D at the end of the word like cooked so we have here d to write i have here d at the end of the verb are linked to the vowels that follow them what are vowels vowels a e i o u so you have here the verb and it ends with d or t sound sound and then we have here the beginning of Second word, vowel, A, E, I, O, U. So here we make a link. We do not stop. You make a link. You read the two words together as one word. As one unit. Example. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes. I've already cooked it. Cooked it. The D here, I pronounce it T sound. T. Y. Because we said, and before it, the sound of kah sound, like kuk. The kah sound, the kah sound, or the k, make the d ta sound, t. I read it as ta sound, as t. Yes, I've already, already, L silent, I've already cocked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Cuban food, food from Cuba. Yes. I tried it. I tried it once in Miami. Tried it. Here this is D, the sound, tried. And I have vowel, I, you make the link, tried it. Don't say I tried it, no, this is wrong. Say yes, I tried it once in Miami, I tried it. B, per work, ask and answer these questions, use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sounds. 
Have you ever cut your hair? Yes. Yes. I've already cut it. I've already cut it. T soft D. Y. Cut it. Cut it. Okay, I have here the T between U and I. This is vowel. Between two vowels, it's going to be soft D or fast D. T would be the sound. Cut it. Have you ever test, tested it? Go cheese? Yes. I've already tested it. Tested it. So here gonna be that sound. Tested it. Have you ever tried Korean food? Yes. I've already I've already tried it. I've already tried it. Like here, tried it, tried it, tried it. Have you brought your dictionary today? This word, American dictionary, British dictionary, 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 British American dictionary. فيش حاجة اسمها dictionary لا. This is Arabic. In English, we say dictionary, dictionary, British. Have you brought your dictionary today? Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I've already brought it. Brought it. The ta sound gonna be a vowel, gonna be that sound between two vowels between the u and i of it. I've already brought it. I've already brought it. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Yes. I've already read it. I've already read it. Read it. The sound, not read it, no, read it, read it, I've already read it. D7, exercise 7, listening, I'm impressed. Listen to Clarice and Carl talk about interesting things they've done recently. Complete the chart. So Clarice, what have you been up to lately? Oh, well... I tried a new restaurant last week, the Classical Cafe. Have you ever been there? No, I haven't. What's it like? It's wonderful. The food is great and the prices are reasonable. But the most interesting thing is the waiters. They sing. The waiters sing? You're kidding. No, they're really terrific. I've got to go there. Yeah, you should, Carl. And... Listen again. Answer. The place, where did she go, and why did she like it? What have you been up to lately? Oh, well, I tried a new restaurant last week, the Classical Cafe. Have you ever been there? No, I haven't. What's it like? It's wonderful. The food is great and the prices are reasonable. But the most interesting thing is the waiters. They sing. The waiters sing? You're kidding. No, they're really terrific. I've got to go there. Yeah, you should, Carl. And what... So, Clarice, Clarice, where did she go? Where did Clarice go? Where did she go? Clarice went to the classical cafe. Classical cafe. Why did she like it? Why did she like the restaurant or this place? Because the prices are reasonable. Waiters sang. The food, the food is okay. So answer number one, Clarice. Classical cafe. Singing waiters, food is okay. Wonderful and reasonable prices. Reasonable prices. Carl, let's listen to Carl. How about you? Have you done anything interesting lately? Oh. Well, I went mountain climbing last month. Really? 
I've never done that. Well, I was in Switzerland. You went mountain climbing in Switzerland? Yeah, it was really exciting. Of course it was dangerous, but I enjoyed it a lot. Wow, I'm impressed. Interesting lately? Oh, well, I went mountain climbing last month. Really? I've never done that. Well, I was in Switzerland. You went mountain climbing in Switzerland? Yeah, it was really exciting. Of course it was dangerous, but I enjoyed it a lot. Wow, I'm impressed. Carl. Where did Carl go? Carl went mountain climbing. Mountain climbing, mountain climbing. Mount, mountain. Where did he go? In which country? Switzerland. Switzerland. Mount climbing in Switzerland. What did he like about it? It was exciting. 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 Interesting. Exciting. And he enjoyed it a lot. Exciting. He enjoyed it a lot. Again, the answers. Carl. Mount climbing in Switzerland. Exciting. And he enjoyed it a lot. Number eight. Exercise eight. Word power. Activities. Find two phrases in the list to go with each verb. Add another phrase for each verb. Then write the past participle forms of the verbs. Here we have what? Different words and phrases. Phrase, one or two words, like iced coffee, herbal tea. And here we have some verbs. For every verb, the verb goes with two words only. So you choose. You write these. All of these words here. Yes, you complete the words and you write them for every verb this is number one number two what is the past participle of this verb climb climbed drank 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 drunk so the pp drunk drive drove driving the past participle driving lose Lost, lost. The past particle, lost. Mess, messed, messed. The past particle, messed, with ed, but will pronounce the dah sound, the d, s, t, messed. Ride, rode, ridden. Ride, rode, ridden. The past particle, ridden. Climb. Can I say climb a bicycle? No. So climb what? Be silent. Be as in silent. Climb. Hmm? Climb a hill. Climb. Climb a mountain. Climb a hill. Climb a mountain. This is number one. Another word. Climb a hill. Climb a mountain. Climb the stairs. You write another word here. Drank. Drank. Hmm? Drank herbal tea. Drank iced coffee. Drank herbal tea. Drank iced coffee. Drank soda. Drank cappuccino. Drank. Soda. Drink water. Drink water. Drink soda. Drink cappuccino. Drink tea. Drive. Drive. Drive a sports car. Drive a sports car. Drive a truck. Drive a sports car. Drive a truck. Drive. Drive a car. Drive a lorry. Drive a bus. Lose. Lose.
lose your cell phone, lose your mobile, lose your keys, lose your cell phone, lose your keys. Cell, E, A in American. Cell, cell phone. Lose your cell phone, lose your keys. Miss. Miss an appointment, miss an appointment, miss a class. Miss, 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 a, miss an appointment, miss a class, miss the bus, miss the train. Ride, ride, ride a bicycle, ride a bicycle, ride a camel, ride a bicycle, ride a camel, like this picture. Ride a camel, this is camel, ride a camel. Ride a bicycle, ride a camel. Ride a horse. Ride a bicycle, ride a horse, ride a camel. Ride a camel, ride a horse, ride a bicycle. We wrote the verb in past participle and we wrote the words. Now, make a sentence. Your turn to make a sentence. Make a sentence. Say a sentence. Tell me a sentence. Climb. I have just climbed a mountain. I've just climbed a mountain. Drink. I've already drunk soda. I've already drunk soda. I've already drunk herbal tea. Herbal tea like green tea. Drive, drove, driving. I haven't driven a bus yet. I haven't driven a bus yet. Lose, lost, lost. I have just lost my keys. I've just lost my keys. Ride, road ridden. Have you ever ridden a camel? Have you ever ridden a camel? So ride the past road, PP ridden. Have you ever ridden a camel? Yes, I have. In the pyramids, in Al Haram area. This is, these are the pyramids and this is Al Haram area, for example. Yes, I have. I've already ridden a camel. Now, exercise number nine, speaking. Exercise nine, speaking. Ask your classmates questions about some of the things in exercise eight or your own ideas. Example A. Here you speak with your friend. Have you ever plus past participle? Have you ever ridden a camel? Yes, I have. Really? Where were you? And ask more questions. Example one. Have you ever ridden a camel? Yes, I have. Really? Where were you? I was in Egypt. I was in the pyramids area or Al Haram area. I rode a camel. I rode a horse. I had fun. I had fun in Al Haram area or the pyramid area. The pyramids area was great. It was a lot of fun. Exercise number 10 writing a letter to an old friend. Write a letter to someone you haven't seen for a long time. Include three things you have done since you last saw that person. Then exchange letters with a partner and write a response to it. In this exercise here, you just write, write a letter. Write a letter to your friend, okay? And try to tell him what happened in your life. Example, dear Hector. How have you been? 
we last saw each other at our at our T soft D between A and O in American at our high school graduation, right? What have you done since then? I started college three years ago. I really like my classes so far. I've been on a girls' soccer team for for four years, for three years, and then you write more and more and more and more. This is gonna be homework. Exercise number 12, reading. Change the page, okay. Exercise number 12, reading. This is passage. Now look at the picture here. Taking the risk. What do you see in these pictures? Picture number one. What's the man doing? Yes, what's he wearing? Where is he? Oh, maybe he's in the sea. He's in the ocean. So, the man, what's he wearing? He's wearing frogman suit. Frogman suit or frogman suit. This is Frogman's suit. He's wearing flappers. Down here, flappers. Flappers. Uh, diving equipment. Diving equipment. Glasses. Diving glasses. What's he touching? What's he catching? What? An octopus. An octopus. An octopus. Gold fishes. Fishes with wonderful, colorful, colorful fish. Different colors. Gold fish. Octopus. So this man is a diver. The man is diver. He's wearing frogman suit, yes, and he's catching an octopus, a lot of goldfishes, and he's deep underwater. He's a diver. He's diving. This is scuba diving. Scuba diving. Second picture. Someone. He's in the air. He's flying. He's flying like a bird. And is it an aeroplane? No, it's not an aeroplane. It's an aircraft. This is a small aircraft. And it flies in this aircraft like birds. Behind him, you see a lot of trees, jungle, forest. Picture three. Someone is strong. Is trying to climb, to climb a rock, to climb a mountain, to climb a hill. Yeah, this is climb. Be silent. Let's start to read. Taking the risk. Risk, danger. Have you ever taken the risk? Have you ever done something dangerous? Risky. Risky thing, dangerous thing. Sports World Magazine recently spoke with Jenny Adams, Tom Barker, and Ray Lee about risky sports. Risky dangers. Risky dangers about danger sports. So we have your journalist, the journalist from the magazine, magazine like a newspaper, okay? And he's talking to Jenny, Tom, and Adam 
about very dangerous about very dangerous sports. SW Sport World journalist here. The Sport World journalist, the journalist or the reporter, ask a question, and Jenny, Tom, and Ray Lee will answer the questions. One, SW. Hang gliding is a dangerous sport, Jenny. What do you enjoy about it? And have you ever had an accident? So, this is a very dangerous sport, hang gliding. So why? Why do you enjoy about it? And have you ever had an accident? Jenny, no, I've never been hurt. Jenny has never been hurt. Maybe I've been lucky. She was very lucky. Lucky, fortunate. She has good luck. Sometimes the wind can be too strong. Once my glider turned upside down and I almost crashed, almost ill silent. The glider here turned upside down and she was about to crash, to hit something. But I parachuted away just in time. Parachuted. You have a parachute, you open the parachute and you leave your aircraft. Actually, I have always felt that hang gliding is very safe. And it's amazing to be able to fly like a bird. It's amazing. It's wonderful to be able. Hear yes sound between E and A. Yes sound. To be able to fly like a bird. Mickling. Be able to be able to fly like a bird. So she think she thinks that hang gliding is very safe, safe, secure. Let's answer some questions about this part. The first question to you is: Is hang gliding? Which picture is hang gliding? Picture number two. Is hang gliding safe or dangerous? Hang gliding is dangerous. Is risk sport. Is a risk sport. Is a dangerous sport. Has Jenny been hurt? No. Why? She's been lucky. Jenny has been lucky. Sometimes the wind can be too strong. The wind sometimes is too strong. There is a storm, a storm. So the wind is strong. And one time her glider, the glider turned upside down. She couldn't control her aircraft. She was about to hit, to hit something. She almost crashed. But she parachuted just in time. Why does Jenny like to have such a risky sport? Why does Jenny practice this dangerous sport? Because it's amazing to be able to fly like a bird. It's wonderful to fly like a bird. Number two, SW, reporter or the journalist of the sports world, will ask Mr. Tom a question. Tom, Tom, you've been mountain climbing for years now. What are some of the dangers you've experienced? This is mountain climbing. To climb a mountain or to climb a hill. Tom, when you're high up on a mountain, when you go up a mountain, the conditions are hard on the human body. The conditions are very difficult, are too difficult on the human body. The air is thin. So when you go higher and higher, it started to be cold, to be very, very cold and the air is thin and you get tired 
Sometimes you don't have a lot of oxygen. I've lived through storms and bad weather. Bad weather, it's raining, it's snowing. You have a storm, there's a storm, there's a storm, it means the wind is too fast. So you have bad weather, you have bad weather. But I like, but I, T soft D. But I like the challenge. I like this. I like to have something difficult. And I like overcoming danger. That's why I do it. I like to fight successfully. Danger. I like to overcome danger. I like overcoming danger. That's why I do it. That's why I do climbing. Let's answer some questions about Tom. First question. Is mountain climbing dangerous sport? Is it a dangerous sport? Yes, it is. Mountain climbing is very dangerous sport. Why, why is mountain climbing is dangerous? Because when you're high up on a mountain, the conditions are hard on the human body. The conditions are difficult. The air is thin, the, the air is thin, and you get tired. Also, sometimes the weather is bad. Why does Tom, why does Tom like to do mountain climbing? Why does Tom like to do mountain climbing? What does he like about the sport? He likes overcoming danger. He likes to make something difficult and challenge it and overcome it and overcome it. He likes to overcome danger. Ray, have you ever experienced any dangers while scuba diving? You're doing scuba diving. This is scuba diving. So you dive in water and you know maybe you, you will see a shark, a whale, something like that. So scuba diving have you ever experienced any dangers while scuba diving? Scuba diving, diving in water. Diving for a long time. Snorkeling? Diving for a short time. One minute, half minute, two minutes maximum. But scuba diving, you, you dive, you have equipment. Diving equipment. And you dive in water for two hours, three hours. Have, Ray, have you ever experienced any dangers while scuba diving? Ray, luckily I haven't. But people can get the pens if they come up too quickly from deep underwater. If you, if you, if you get out fast from water, from down, from deep down, okay, what will happen? You can have the pens. What means the bends? The bends injuries in your body from inside your body. Why? Bubbles form in the blood. Bubbles pockets of air. Pockets of air form in the blood. And then the bends can be serious. The injuries can be serious. And can even cause death. Maybe you're gonna die. The condition is rare. This is not usual. It's rare. Like one in a million. One only. It could happen one time. Every one million. 
For example, for every 1 million diver, it's very, very rare. Diving is not really that dangerous. For Ray, diving isn't dangerous. And the great thing is that it lets you, it lets you explore another world. It lets you discover another world. Explore, discover. Now let's answer some questions about Mr. Ray. Has Ray experienced any dangers while scuba diving? No, he hasn't. What are the dangers of scuba diving? Divers or people can get the pens if they come up too quickly from deep underwater. Another danger, bubbles form in the blood. Are the bends serious? Yes, they are. The bends can be serious. It can even cause death. Is the condition rare? Yes, it is. The condition is very rare. This case is very rare. Why does Ray like to go scuba diving? Because it lets you explore another world. It lets you discover another world. It lets you see another world. The world of the sea. The world of the ocean. The world, yes, where you can see gold fishes, octopus, a lot of, a lot of things, sharks, whales, dolphins. So it's a wonderful world. That's the end of unit 10. And now let's take the workbook. Here you have this exercise, Jenny Tom Ray. This is you're gonna do it as homework. You write the sport, what they enjoy and the danger. And we answer this during our lecture. B, would you like to try any of these sports? Why or why not? Would you like to try any of these sports? This is up to you. You can choose climbing, scuba diving, diving or scuba diving, climbing or hang, gliding, as you like. Workbook Vocab Unit 10. Workbook Unit 10 Jog To run slowly Jog To run slowly Bungee jumping Or bungee jumping The sport of jumping of a very high bridge with a long rope tied to your legs so that the rope pulls you back before you hit the ground Bungee jumping, the sport of jumping off a very high bridge with a long rope tied to your legs so that the rope pulls you back before you hit the ground. 6. Cable car, which is moved by a cable and transports people up steep slopes. Slopes, Brit American British slopes. Cable, thick strong wire. Cable car, which is moved by a cable and transports people up steep slopes. Oyster, oyster, a sea creature that produces pearls. Oyster, a sea creature, American creature, creature. A British creature, a sea creature that produces pearls. Pearls, small precious stones. Pay the bell, pay the bell. Pay, pa, pa, sound, pay the bell. 
That's the end of the workbook unit 10. Thanks God. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. شكرا للمشاهدة. من فضلك اشترك في القناة لتصلك آخر إصداراتنا.